Within this tutorial, I want to teach you how to create trails behind the moving object. Let me explain exactly what I will be covering. I will showcase how to give the trails the same trajectory, then we design and animate those taper strokes with trim pads, and we will multiply and customize their movement. The last topic, what will happen if you change the position and how to match the trails then? I assume that you have a moving object. If not, simply select a shape, create a shape, click on the shape layer. I want to move the anchor point in the middle of the shape. Okay, we can also press Ctrl Alt Home to make it perfect. Now I will press P. I will start to keyframe it. I will move my playhead a little bit forward and I'll just start moving. Remember to change to the selection tool and move it, move it, move it. Move it, something like that, so we have something to work with. I would take the keyframes to the very beginning and I would end up with this motion. If you want this motion to be very fluent, right click and select Rof across time. We can also keyframe assist easy ease, so everything becomes super smooth. At first, you need to establish a layer and create a path which will be the actual trail. Okay, I take my pen tool and I do not care about the design at all because I will call this layer trails. This is it. Now, I want to take my circle, press on P because I know that I have position keyframes on it and I want to copy and this is the genius trick which allows us to create any type of trails. You take the position, when selected press Ctrl or Command C to copy it to your clipboard. Now you can go to the trails you've just created, you go to its path you make sure that you click on the pad itself because else it will just paste the position. You click on the pad, Ctrl V, and you can see this element now looks exactly like the trajectory of our movement. This is perfect. Obviously, we need to reposition this pad. There are a couple of ways to do this. I will, for example, go to transform and simply change the position to this and this value. Okay, I go to the beginning and I want to make sure that this trail starts approximately where this shape. Now, beautiful. Quick side note, if you enjoyed this video so far, it would really help me and my channel if you hit the like button and comment below the video. Thank you very much if you consider doing so. Now, back to the tutorial. I have my shape number one, and in order to animate it like a trail, I need to add trim pads. We can add trim pads to this trail layer by going to add trim pads. I actually do not want a gradient stroke, I wanted a normal stroke, so let me change this for a solid color. Okay, we have a normal stroke now. Let me close everything. I can delete the fill, and I have everything within shape one, even the trim pads. That's beautiful. I take the trim pads, I open it, zero, zero at the beginning. I'm always doing it like that because this is super quick. 100, 100, and I take the upper values, the start values, and I just reposition them forward. We have our initial animation. I have a free script called Buttcapper. I will just click on it to make this round. Obviously, we want the trail to start behind the original object. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to move those keyframes in time. I will easy ease the keyframes and I'll make them a little bit longer. I'll maybe position them later and we should have somewhat of a trail going on right now. If you have one of the newest versions of After Effects, what you can do, you can open the stroke you can change the taper by increasing the start length so we have a tapered nice stroke going on. Beautiful. Now, depending on the animation which you want and how long the stroke do you want, either you tinker with the keyframes here because you can make it longer that way, you can make it disappear at the same moment later on, so when the ball hits the, the right place it will just disappear. Or you simply take those values, you select all keyframes, you go into the graph editor and you can also tinker with the values here. You can of course change, I will select the start and end to make sure what I'm selecting. I'll take it here and you can see the animation will adjust depending on the motion I want on it. I want it to follow closely the circle, so I put it a little bit back. Okay, and we have now a very nice motion for it. What do you do if you want multiple lines following in a different directions in order? You can, for example, select the repeater and add a repeater to this shape, so you will have multiple of those trails. But what I prefer, since we have the pad and trim pads right here in the shape, I can just take the shape, I can duplicate it one or two times. 
The nice thing about this is that each single trail behind this will be now controllable perfectly by us. We can of course change the position a little bit. We can even take the pen tool and we can adjust its motion pad just a tiny bit so it appears a bit different. We can adjust all the pads so all three trails will be a tiny bit different from each other. You can see this looks more organic, more natural. Of course, if you want to take it one step further, you have three different shapes. Take shape one, change the stroke width. Shape two or shape one, again, change the stroke width. This will look even more organic, perfect. Now you understand that you have plenty of adjustment options here. If I press U on the trails, I have all the keyframes and if I want them to like finish in, in different places, I can of course offset those keyframes a tiny bit, put the circle on top and initially this would be the trail we are finishing with. Now I've changed the motion path and this will create a little bit of trouble if I want to change the position of the original object because I'll have to copy it over again. Now for the circle, I'm selecting position, let's assume I hit my selection tool and I actually changed the position of my moving object. Now the trails. The little problem here is that I will again have to select position, control C the values, go into the trails, actually I will type in path because I am lazy, I will hit the path and as you can see control V, control V, control V and all three paths become uniform again. You can of course again reposition them, you can select the pen tool and you can modify the paths again so they become a little bit more unique, which I really like, it gets it this organic feeling. but you have to be aware that if you change the path, you will also have to copy the path over to those trails again. The biggest trick here, copy over the position keyframes and paste it straight into the path. I do really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave me a like and let me know in the comments. Would you like more of this type of After Effects tutorials? I'll try to craft more of them if there will be interest. If you'd like to learn After Effects with me, there are links to my courses in the description. Thanks for being here and keep learning.